Hello everyone, I'm back, me and my gang, and I am here today with all four of my kids because one of the hardest things about recording these videos is trying to find time between work and family to record these videos. So I decided I'm gonna give this a shot and see how this works. This may or may not make it make the cut, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna quickly run through my top five surprises that have happened uh, I'm now at my end of week two for my smartphone detox. So the top five surprises that I've experienced since I've ditched my smartphone for a flip phone. Carson, can you read number five for me right there, please, my friend? Loud and clear. Friends and family are mad, really mad. Yes. <laughs> Friends and family are mad. I have been kicked off of group texts. I have been called aggravating and annoying. I have been asked how long this thing is going to last. It's very difficult because, you know, I'm trying here and I'm not getting much support, not much positive support. It's a little bit difficult. Also, one of the things that has happened too is because of the fact that I refuse to spend an hour trying to text someone back with 160 characters or less, I have decided to pick up the phone and call people. And it, while it might be nice to hear my voice the first time, um, the second you know, call of, hey, just responding to your text is quite annoying. So uh, people, I've made a lot of people mad. All right, number four, Dallas, can you read this for me, please? It's embarrassing. Yes, I'll be the first person to admit, this was a joke at first, funny, ha ha. But answering this in public, is a little bit embarrassing. On top of that, it is very, very loud when you close it. Can somebody close this for me, please? Close it. Loud. Imagine a quiet room and all of a sudden, do it again. Oh, my finger's in the way. Do it again. Do it again. Loud. Loud. So people always look my way when I answer my phone. So I like to pretend that it's just not my purse that's ringing. All right, number three, Carson, can you read this, please? Brain farts, lots and lots of brain farts. Over here uh, in my house, we use the word <laughs> fart a lot. I don't like it, but they love it, so I've embraced it. Brain farts, lots and lots brain of brain farts. farts. Yes. Within the first two weeks, brain memory farts. lapses have been That's ridiculously common. And you know, there's research supporting why this is the case. I'm going to read this to you. Researchers at Columbia University called the Google Effect because it's so easy for us to look up answers to our questions, even questions that aren't really questions, things we wonder about, anything. We reach for our phones and they've taken the place of our brains. They've made our brains lazy. So this Google effect, you know, comes into place when you're having to focus and try to figure things out on your own. You just, it's hard. So I find myself saying, um, hmm, what? Or trying to, Search, much like my cell phone searches for a signal, that's my brain. Very difficult at times. Okay, number two, Dallas, help me out. Uh, better sleep. Better sleep. Even though my phone is still the last thing that I see before I go to bed, it's only because I did not get an alarm clock to replace it. Um, so it's quickly, it's quickly, you know, shut off. It's just no need for this. So, um, hey, hey, let me, let me finish this, okay? Almost done. All right, so when I wake up in the middle of the night, I can quickly go back to sleep. That's because my, my, uh, I'm reducing the blue light effect from my body, which researchers have found is a really big deal. This blue light effect, you know, tricks your brain into thinking it's daylight. Your brain thinks it's daylight when you're looking at this phone, and so you're just, you can't go back to sleep. So my sleep quality has definitely improved. Okay, number one, drum roll please. Top thing that I have learned, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Dallas. I'm living in the moment. I'm living in the moment. I'm living in the moment. I'm gonna read that. Sorry. I'm not as distracted. I'm laughing harder. I'm here. I'm seeing things that I haven't seen in a while because I'm not distracted. So I love it. I have time to play. I have time to be with the kids and I'm more in control of my own hours. Um, actually, one of um, my commenters on one of my YouTube videos at first said, hey, you should try to keep you know, track of how many hours you're saving by you know, reducing time spent on the smartphone. And I tried. 
the thing was, I, I, it was impossible. I was on my phone just too much. So this has been awesome. Okay, so the number one biggest question now that I'm getting is, okay, it's been two weeks. Thank you for the drum roll. It's been two weeks. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna continue this after the third week? What are you thinking? Are you going to go back to your smartphone? Are you gonna keep using your flip phone? You'll just have to wait and see. Tune in next week to find out. Thank you for following. If you have not officially followed, click the subscribe button below. You'll be able to see what I decide and keep up with all of our amazing content. Thank Hope you, you have a great day. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.